I'm going to demo why Big Cloud Fabric is the ideal fabric for Nutanix AHV hyperconverge infrastructures. BCF is powered by an SDN controller to build a leaf spine fabric using open networking switches. Unlike box by box networks, the BCF controller is a single pane of glass, integrates with Nutanix Prism, and operates the entire fabric as one logical switch. Let's look at the demo topology. Here I have a 3 rack BCF pod. BCF can automatically bootstrap AHV hosts. We will connect three hosts and get an AHV cluster up and running. After that, we will configure the prism in BCF and see AHV hosts are getting automatically discovered in the fabric. Then we will look at how layer 2 networking automation happens for couple VMs. To show the distributed logical routing functionality, we will create another network in AHP with a different VLAN and attach a VM. BCF will pick up all these changes and automatically create distributed routing for VMs in the AHV cluster. We will also look at other functionalities such as visibility and troubleshooting. Let's start by logging into the Big Cloud Fabric. BCF homepage gives an overview of the entire fabric. Physical assets are under the Fabric tab. If we click on the fabric, you will see a topology of your entire network. You can zoom into items such as individual links, switches, right from here. If we go into the interface groups and look for Nutanix devices, you will see there are no devices detected on the fabric. Let's get the AHV nodes bootstrapped through an infrastructure tenant. I have dedicated VLAN 100 for this bootstrapping. As a result, BCF will trap all the matching nodes anywhere on the fabric to this tenant. Just connect Nutanix node to the BCF, power them on, and they will appear under here. You can either migrate an existing AHP cluster to the BCF, or, like in this case, use Nutanix Foundation tool to deploy a new cluster. Once the cluster is up, we can log into the Nutanix Prism. In the home page, it says I'm running an AHV cluster with three hosts. If I look at the VM page, I would see two VMs with the names Web1 and Web2 in subnet 103. If I open up the console of Web1 VM and try to ping the Web2 VM, the ping would not go through. To get this ping to work, let's go back to the BCF and add the Nutanix Prism under the integration. We will give basic details such as IP and login details of the Prism. We will map this AHV cluster to a single BCF tenant. As soon as we hit save, BCF will connect to the Prism. Now if we go back to the interface group screen, we will see BCF automatically discovered all the AHV hosts connected to the fabric. BCF figured out which bonding modes AHV hosts are running, in this case it's LACP, and automatically created multi-chassis link aggregation in the fabric. If we go back to the Web1 VM, you will see traffic has started to flow through. So how did all this happen? Let's go inside the BCF Nutanix page to see what BCF has discovered and configured. Info section has a quick summary and config settings. Graphic diagram shows the entire AHV host network in summary. If we click on the Nutanix 3 host BR0 bridge, it shows all the connectivity information including uplinks as well as attached VMs. Different tables give details about the AHV cluster in different viewpoints. In the physical connections table, we can filter out the Nutanix 2 host to see where exactly is connected and all the other mapping details. We can find details about VMs using endpoints table. This table can be an excellent starting point for troubleshooting. All you need to do is search for a VM. Let's take a look at how BCF automatically configured the connectivity. If we go inside the Nutanix tenant, we will see a logical segment equivalent to that web VLAN 103. If we go there, you can spot all the AHV hosts that are configured on this VLAN. BCF with the help of the prism figured out which VMs need to be in this VLAN and automatically configured them on the fabric. At this point, let's recap what we have done so far. We have bootstrapped the AHV cluster through BCF and configured the Nutanix Prism integration. As a result, AHV hosts got auto-detected on the fabric. 
And then we have looked at how layer 2 networking got automated for these web VMs. Now imagine a scenario where you have to bring in VMs from a different VLAN. How would you get this done in a traditional environment? You would file tickets or if you control the network, you would do some command line hunting from box to box to box to get L3 routing set up in your network. But for a HP hyperconverged stack running on top of the big cloud fabric, all this is automated. For example, let's say we want to bring in this new app VM in VLAN 104. All you need to do is configure this VLAN in AHV and attach the VM. BCF will automatically configure logical routing for this new VLAN and distribute it throughout the physical fabric. If we go back to the BCF and look at the config, you will see we already have a segment interface for web VLAN. Web VMs are using this as their default gateway. Now let's log into the Acropolis command line and create a new network with VLAN 104. If we come back, we will see that default gateway got programmed in the Big Cloud Fabric. Just to verify the end-to-end -end connectivity, let's go to the Prism and create an app VM with the new network. Then we will try to ping to it from our web VM. While this ping is going, let's go back to the BCF and try to run a test path. In legacy networking, you would go and hunt down MAC address tables and try to make sense out of your running configs in different boxes. In BCF, TestPath will do all that for you with couple clicks. All you have to do is pick a source and a destination. In this case, we will select the web and app VMs. Logical Trace will go through the config validations for you and tell us whether the traffic is getting forwarded. Fabric Trace will tell us how exactly traffic is going through the fabric. Let's start a Fabric Trace and see. In this case, traffic is coming from the Ethernet 10 of leaf 2A and then going to the spine and going to the destination leaf switch leaf 1A. And finally it's going to the Nutanix 1 BR0 bridge. Apart from the features that we covered, BCF also automates network policy changes for VM migrations support multi-tenancy for HV clusters and comes with dynamic buffering support for Nutanix CVMs right out of the gate. Change management in BCF for HV clusters is simple. Connect more HV host, add more switches, no configuration required. Scale your Nutanix HV clusters with BCF at will from 1 to tens of racks. Break free from legacy networking in your Nutanix AHP hyperconverged infrastructure. Thanks for watching. Try out Big Cloud Fabric at labs.bigswitch.com.